Uh, what's going on, guys? Midnight Invader here. Um, recently, they have released Unreal Engine to be free. So this channel is going to be based off tutorials on helping, help, helping you guys uh, do certain stuff in the game, um, such as whatever you really, whatever you wanted to do. Um, if there's anything specifically that you want. Uh, to learn how to do, maybe you research and you can't figure it out. Just send me a PM, post in the comments. However, y'all want to, however you want to get in touch with me, just let me know and I will put out a tutorial to show you how to do it. Um, so what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to add in our animation starter pack with our character. So in this demonstration, I'm going to use the animation starter pack, which is free off the marketplace. But I'm actually going to use the military character pack, which is like nine dollars off the marketplace something like that I don't remember um but it's just going to be implementing these two together so you can have your character with the animations so you don't have to go through and add all the animations by yourself uh so what we're going to do is we're going to launch in 4.7.2 <coughs> excuse me um ignore this little thing right here um getting a little mad a while back and uh I haven't removed that because there's something in there I need to remove or keep. Uh, I'm gonna use the third person template on this. So I'm just gonna leave that as my project, tutorial purposes. That way I know I don't really need this one. Um, yeah. You do let this thing load. Why oh, it take so long? Uh, but now it's added it in. Uh, so we can go go to add project on the animation starter pack and add this to the. Whoops. Add it to the uh, my project, and we also want to add in the character to my project. Now, if you have, who's this? Hmm. If you have uh, made your own character with Blend or any other third-party software, and you want to implement him into the into your your game, uh, that's fine. Uh, all you have to do is go to import. Uh, find your character and put him in your context folder. And then, uh, as long as he has all the bones and everything, the skeleton, you can just follow exactly what we do. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go into my character uh, folder, which actually has the files of the character I'm wanting to use. And I'm going to delete his skeleton. I'm going to replace the references with the hero TTP skeleton under the animation starter pack. So I'm going to replace references, uh, OK, and save. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my animation starter pack, and I'm going to go to my character, and I'm going to click on the ASP character. Because the ASP character, this is the character that you will be using. Uh, this is actually where you'll be adding in like all of his actions, mapping, such as firing a weapon and prone and all that. So I'll go to his mesh, change it to the mesh of your character, I'm going to use the male. Now, if we compile, we're going to get a little, not error, but a little warning here. What this is saying is we have a crouching, <coughs> man, excuse me, we have crouching implemented, but we don't have a button for it. So to do that, we're just going to go to Edit, Project Settings, Input, Action Mappings, Add. We're going to add a crouch, and we're going to change this to Keypad C. And we're just going to close out of that. So now we hit compile. Compile is complete. So it's safe. A couple more things we need to do. So we've got a player start over here, but we also have this character. We don't need this character since our player is going to start here. So you can click on your third person character. You can use delete. Remove him off the map. We don't need him. So now another thing we need to do is we need to go to our third person blueprint. We need to go to our blueprints and under our third person game mode, we got a default pawn class. We need to change that to an ASP character. That way we're using the ASP character, not the third person. So now when we come in, we have our character, and pretty much all we can do right now is crouch and jump. But that is how you implement your character into the image starter pack. That will get you started with so many more animations, such as, you know, all, all these iron socks, the weapons and everything. Um, now, when you add in sprint, We'll, we'll talk about that later. Um, but so we'll edit all these animation ends into a later 
tutorial on how to add them in and the montages and all that. Um, very simple to do, but that's a later tutorial. So uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. Um, so if there's anything else you guys are needing or want to learn, just let me know. I'll help you out. Um, this, I'll actually build on to this later. Yeah, I'll build on to this later because this has got the, uh, all your idols and everything. Uh, play idol rough arm sides. Whoops. I'm going to put that in there. Alright. So that is about it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. So if there's anything else you guys need, just let me know. And take it easy.